Hi, I'm, I'm Mike. I'm here today to talk to you about porch conversions by living space sunrooms. A lot of people have um, screen rooms and they can use a screen room certain times of the year. They can use it, you know, in the summer, it, you know, keeps the bugs off them. But uh, there's a movement now to actually extend the use of your screen and the porch conversion product has been designed exactly for that. Uh, this product does have a full screen on the outside of it, but on the inside we have a stacking window system. And what this product's used for is basically you fit it to replace a screen system. Um, the vinyl acts as an insulator so it keeps the rain off you and the beauty of this system is you can also then use it as a screen room. The system itself, just by pulling the tracks down, you can open and close the window to give you up to 75% ventilation. These sashes stack on each other and they move up and down through a track system that allows them to open and close, just exposing the screens. By lifting the sashes up, you can actually open and close them from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. So they work real well. This is a single unit uh, that fits between the posts. Um, you'll see there's a spreader bar in the center of the unit. The spreader bars to keep the sashes nice and square and work well. The window system looks like it's glass, but it's actually not. Um, it's a material that we call, uh, it's a memory vinyl. We call it flex glazing. Um, a lot more advantages to glass. Number one, it's light. Uh, you can't shatter it, you can't damage it. It's uh, very safe, you know, kids hitting a ball into it, something like that. It's gonna, you know, it's resilient. You can push your finger, your hand in, and it just, the memory of the vinyl just comes back into place. The vinyl itself comes in different colors, so you can have different shading options, if you will. If I look to my uh, right-hand side, you'll see a smaller unit. This is what we call a twin unit. These are two windows, like this window, but they're mulled together with a central mull bar, so a joining bar. Um, by using this method, we can fill really wide expanses. You know, you can do twins, triples, even quads, and fill whatever gap you like. Now let me talk to you about the door systems that we have with our porch conversion product. Um, this is the, the door we sell the most of. We call it Cabana door. Uh, it has the same four track system that we use on our windows. So you have an, uh, an adjustable door that basically um, open and close up to 75% ventilation. The door is a very robust, it's much nicer than just a storm door. It has a very nice scroll handle, uh, locking mechanism here. It has a aluminum threshold down the bottom there. And uh, we can offer these doors in all the same colors as the windows. The door is available uh, in swing. It's available out swing, so you can have a left hinge or a right swing, like right hinge. The doors as well are available in a double door situation, and it would look more like a French door. So basically there's two of these put together with a, a, a joining mold so it can be in a French door configuration. Um, I'll go outside and show you how this thing looks like from the outside. It's a very nice lock set, very nice frame. It's a deep frame. Um, like I said, it's a lot nicer looking than you know many, many storm doors. It's, uh, it's a sturdy, robust, and it has the lock set and the thumb turn on the inside. So it's a very, very nice door for this situation. When you look at the outside of the door, you'll see it fits into a very nice frame all around the outside of the door. Very, very strong, full screen in situation. And here's the really nice feature of this door. It has a full length hinge system. That hinge system makes it really, really tough, really, really strong. And once you've screwed this in, it's, it's fixed. It's a very, very reliable, uh, very, very strong door. Again, the same colors, available in a four track configuration or full view glass, whatever you choose. Um, regarding the screens, we do have different versions of screen that you can buy with this product. Um, standard is the uh, fiberglass screen. We do a finer screen, which we call a better view screen. Um, much smaller holes, uh, it keeps uh, the very, very small bugs out. Um, and we also do what we call a super screen, which is a much tougher screen. Uh, the tougher screen, um, it's less likely to ever be damaged because you know things happen to screens. People catch it with rings or 
and uh, it's a lot more robust it's a lot less likely to damage so we do recommend it it's quite a very it's a tough screen so we like that one thing you'll notice on this door is we have a little um, window above the door we call those transoms or they could be a trapezoid they could be a triangle and we can also manufacture a lip frame window which is what we call them to fill those smaller gaps up we also use the lip frame window when these windows tend to get too tall once you go above eight foot tall they are too tall so we'll often put a fixed window above an eight foot window or a nine foot window so you can do a bigger taller wall so i can custom stack these windows on top of doors on top of windows i can stack them below windows at the side of doors we use the lip frame window to fill in the gap between the sizes the doors themselves, um, standard sizes, 30 inches wide, 32 inches wide, 34 and 36. Um, they're all uh, 80 inches tall, which is the standard size of a door. We can custom make doors, that obviously costs more money when you make them custom, but we can do custom height and custom width if we have to. I'm going to show you also now the uh, shading options that you have with these rooms. Um, as we mentioned, the vinyl's a memory vinyl or a memory glazing. It has a an ability to withstand heavy blows. You know, it's uh, if a golf ball hits it, it's not going to break. If a football hits it, it's not going to break. Unlike glass, which can absolutely crack when something hard hits it. Uh, the, the the vinyl and memory vinyl has a, a great ability also to block out the nasty UV. UV, this blocks about 99% of the harmful UV light at entering the room. Now, UV is two things. Um, you've got good UV, which is for humans, makes the plants grow, it's the good stuff. Then you've got the bad stuff. The bad UV is the stuff that fades to the furniture, kills the plants. This stuff lets the good UV in, so it's a great, um, great product to use for this. Glass, single pane glass, lets complete UV in. Uh, it doesn't have much protection against it at all. Normal glass, that's the stuff that burns for floors, you know, burns fade to the furniture, it's different. So clear is the normal. This lets about 92% of the light. So it only does a small job of shading. Um, we can give you more shading by moving to um, the next option, which is the light gray tint. This takes the shading down to about 70%. So it blocks about 30% of the light out. So it gives you a nice tint like a sunglass. Same memory vinyl, same durable. Gives you a little bit of a tint as you can see looking through the, through the window. Um, the next option we go to is the dark gray. Dark gray drops it down, you know, a lot more to, from the, uh, from the, the, the mild gray, this, the dark gray, down to about 50% um, light that you're stopping. So a much, greater shade uh, you obviously don't get the translucency you don't get the view through it but it does keep the sun out um, and then the most sun blocking that we offer would be the bronze this takes it down it takes about um, it's about a 40 percent um, penetration of light so it's blocking 60 percent of the light allowing 40 percent through same uv quality same stabilization um, this is used if you've got a really high sun glaring at you all day or maybe a particular elevation in your room that has a lot more sun. You can choose this to use in just a single panel, in two panels, maybe as a mid whale, or you could use it on maybe just one wall of a home. Your choice, but uh, we have different shading options for different people's tastes.